Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, made it onto Kashyyyk and uh, discovered the situation on Kashyyyk. It's a little fucked. It's just, it's just, a, just a little fucked. Just a little beyond fucked up. Just a little. Um. <laughs> Wookiees are being regularly enslaved by the Zerker Corporation, which has now made me really, 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 really hate the Zerker Corporation. And from the sound of it, it's at the behest of the current Wookiee leader. Sounds like someone Zalbar knows. It's not a good look at all. For him. Whoever the leader is. Was it Chundar? I think that was the name. Anywho. Uh, we are heading further into this hostile area here. Primarily because that's the only way we can get to the uh, Wookiee village. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, hey. It's coming towards us. What a thunk it. Oh, wow, I blew through it like it was nothing. Wow. Okay. Well, that was easy. Uh. Yeah, this place has a lot of enemies going on. A lot of them. All right, well doing decent damage when we hit. The majority of the problem sometimes we're not hitting. Alright. Master Flurry. There we go. Whoa, 52. Holy shit. Zabar, where are you going? Oh. Saw the stalker over there. Get out of here, stalker. Wow, I missed all of them. That sucked. Wow. There we go. That did something. Alright, so let's heal up. Doing pretty good work. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, this guy had a lot of stuff on him. He got wrecked. He got wrecked hard by these guys. Yeesh. All right, so, since there seems to be a branching path over here, and that looks like plot over there, because I could have sworn I saw a Wookiee. Yep, there is a Wookiee standing right over there. So, uh, that looks like plot. So we're going to go over this way to uh, grab some of that sweet, sweet not plot. Mmm. That's, that's a weird phrasing. Mm. All right. There we go. Doing good thus far. Could be doing far worse, like missing every fucking hit I take, like that one. All right. Uh, I should probably actually try one of these. Nope, didn't do it. Damn thing. Galbar is getting beat up hard. Jeez. The thing he has the fucking vitality to deal with it. Hey, got a level up. All right. There we go. Heal up a little more. I can barely fully heal Zar <laughs> Zarbs Zalbar's uh, fucking health bar. Jeez, he has a lot of health. Good God. All right. So let's level ourselves up a little bit. And what do we got? Um, three points. Um, do I really need to go for that? I don't think so. I think going persuasion would be a little more helpful. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, treat injury when I already have a healing technique is a little not necessary. Uh, do I have to go computer use? Probably. Or, 
could start upping my repair a little bit more. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll do. Powers. Oh, I can do the full heal instead of just cure now. That's good. All right. Heals all party members and poisons are neutralized, which this does not do. Okay. So the ability to also heal poisons. That is too useful not to take, but I want to see if there's anything else I should be doing. Um, Knight Valor. Knight Valor does the Jedi and all party members. Increases the physical attributes and saving throws by two points. And also grants immunity to poison. Effect lasts for 20 seconds. Replaces the bonus granted by Force Valor. So, instead of two, you get three and immunity to poisons. Or you can just heal poisons. Although it only lasts for 20 seconds. Some fights last a little longer than that. Uh, I mean... I mean, I'm already... Hmm. Hmm. Improved energy resistance allows the entire party to be shielded from energy. Uh, po immunity to poisons and disease as well, and absorbing the first 15 points of damage from sonic fire, cold, and electrical attacks. Hmm. Damage over the first 15 is suffered as normal. Huh. Dominate Mind is a little bit evil. Or is usually used for evil. Um. You see what you see my mindset on this is that technically I get quite a bit out of this as opposed to this because it not only helps the physical attributes but also helps the saving throws and also grants an immunity to poison. This grants an immunity to Empoison 2 and absorbs 15 points of damage from other attacks. But considering two-thirds of my party is physical, this helps quite a bit. Mm. I don't know... And this is a heal, which is... It's a good heal. And this one just doubles the heal, and on top of that, allows neutralization of poisons. Mm. I don't know. I guess I'll go Night Valor for now. We'll go heal after that. And... I guess to buff myself at some point, I could go Force Aura. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Anyway, yep, there we go. I'll go that route, and we're good. Alright, so this... We have a Zerka resource ID from the fuckbags who we killed earlier, who uh, sounded like they were going to try and kill us, but uh, they, they, they didn't have the they didn't have the wherewithal. So, let's access these supplies. All right, cool. Grab what's in here. A lot of grenades and a lot of good stuff. What do we got here? 
Vibroblades, Blaster Pistols, Combat Suits, Interface Visor, and Droid Light Plating. Hmm. Good stuff. Get those items. Alrighty. And there should be more down here. Hi there. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't expect to run into another posse of uh, these guys. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm just going to pause a little bit to allow my force points to catch back up. Also, I was going to try and take a sip of my coffee, but then I felt the heat immediately on the cup, and then I realized, nah, not, nah, that's not good. Not a good idea. But, now that I'm fully healed up... Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. Uh -huh. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Yeah, about that. Good luck. Y'all failed the first time. And, uh... I guess I'll just try that again, should that fail. And... Try that, I guess. Oh, that worked on you. Okay, cool. Alright. So, we'll just wail on this guy for a little bit. Alright. Yeah, you, you guys are not doing as good as you were before. You guys didn't nearly get whooped by my fucking combat skills as much as you are now. Also, wow, a next door crystal? Really? Okay. And a diamond crystal? Okay. And another yellow crystal. Jark. Jark. Dark Jedi Knight Robe. A jark. Jark Robe. Okay, cool. Jark Knight. I'm fucking idiot. All right. How did she get... Oh, yeah. The guy's drain health thing. That was how she got damaged. That explains a lot. All right. Because she has so little health, it did a lot more damage than I thought it would. All right. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well. Um... Dark Jedi Knight's robe. I have two of those. Hmm. Surprising. Surprising to me. Alright, well. That's dealt with. Oh. Maybe this is plot. Back we go! <laughs> well... I mean, we got some cool things. There's that. Maybe the other way was just a learning thing. Hey, Big Z. We gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorrean slavers. What is this the time you, <laughs> they didn't? I wasn't their guest mission. I was a prisoner. I don't think they cared much what happened to me. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals eight? a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. I did manage to take a chunk out of the arm of a guard that wandered too close to my cage, but it tasted awful, so I spit it out. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorreans smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. Wookies do not brush their teeth, Mission. It, it just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next, a comb? Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. Uh, I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's just stay focused on the task at hand. 
Jesus Christ mission. Was this really the time to fucking critique your big buddy's bad breath? I mean, is it ever the time? Honestly? I don't think so. Well, hi there. You are not permitted to pass into the Shadowlands. Only Chundar may allow you entry. Especially when you bring filth such as this with you. This mad claw has no place here. Who are you to question my place? You follow Chundar into the arms of outsiders. And yet you travel with outsiders yourself. Speak no more. Chundar will decide if you are permitted to enter the Shadowlands. What was... I know what that was about. Where's this Wookiee I need to see? Speak with Chundar in the village of Rohrohr. He will decide if you are worthy. Rohrohr. I assume that's how you pronounce it. I assume. Damn it! Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright. So, even if I had gone that way, I wouldn't be allowed anyway. Fair enough. Okay. Well, I kind of guessed it. It is plot, just not the plot I thought it would be. Alrighty, well, onward we go. Don't mind me trying to figure out what's going on here. Stop where you are, outsider. You enter the domain of Chundar, chieftain and leader. Stand aside! This human is with me and I want access to the home of my people. You have no rights here, Mad Claw. This human should not have brought this taint upon our land. You must answer to Chundar. Uh, you will not take me anywhere, Mongrel. Whoa. That's fucked up. Uh... Take me to Chundar. I would speak with him. The choice is made for you already. You make a demand for something you can't alter, can't help. Enough talk. You and the outcast Mad Claw will be taken to Chundar now. Or is it Chundar? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't care. He's an asshole. Uh, available slots. Oh, Zalbar's. Unavailable. Oh. Well then, I'll take you honey. Because I don't really run around with her enough. That was weird. Step forward and address mighty and wise Chunda, outsider. I don't often allow visitors of your kind. You are flanked by Zerka slavers. Are they not outsiders, or have you sold all of Kashyyyk to them? Ah, Brother Salbar. You've been exiled a long time. You shouldn't speak in that tone. Things are different. You are a mad claw without honor. You have no voice among your own people. I, on the other hand, am chieftain. Well, a nice nest of lies you've constructed. You may talk, but no one here will believe you. I've had a long time to guide what my people think. They trust me, the mighty Chunda. Even with my brother insane and father enslaved, I rose to protect my people despite it all. Father was enslaved? Mighty Chunda? What are you talking about? You were the runt! I am no runt! <clears throat> like I said, Zalbar, a lot has changed in your years away. We will discuss this soon enough. Is there a point to this? If this will only lead to a fight, I'd like to get to it. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Um, but I know we have to go through the whole song and dance. What do you want? Why drag us here? I haven't killed Zalbar because he is my brother. And I hoped he and I would come to an agreement. You are irrelevant. I may be able to put, up, put you to use on a menial task. Zalbar will have to stay here, of course. I would not abandon Zalbar to you. It isn't your choice, Farron Khan. I already have him. I have a personal matter to discuss with him. You have other duties. A simple thing. Another Wookiee has suffered the same fate as Zalbar, gone mad and been exiled. He now lurks in the Shadowlands. More importantly, he's pestering my Zerka allies during their Shadowland expeditions. It is not good for business. 
He's standing against you. The first of many, perhaps. <laughs> I kind of like that line, but I want to check what the other ones are first. I don't want to hear his version. Fuck off. I don't want to know about that. He's standing against you. The first of many, perhaps. No one will follow the Mad Claw. He's merely a nuisance. Besides, he cowers in the Shadowlands. My people know nothing of him. <sighs> I almost want to make him do it. But I'll consider what you've said. I'll go now. I'll allow you access to the Shadowlands. You will track and kill us insane Wookiee, and maybe then you will earn my favor. Salbar stays here to ensure your loyalty. The Zerko would never let me hold you, but they don't care what I do with fellow Wookiees. <laughs> you're, you're a fool. You're making the job harder. What made you think I wanted this to be easy for you? Besides, you won't need it. My people are trained to understand you. I tell them it's to better understand the enemy. They think it will make Zerka easier to fight. Actually, it makes them easier to obey. No, you don't say. Remember, you can't beat me here. No one would dare oppose me to join with an outsider or an exile. You are wrong, brother. Someone would. Uh, Siege under there is someone. Make it good, Zelda. <laughs> it's like I don't, I don't really believe that, but okay. Yeah, Salbar, you and me. No outsider, Salbar. No outsider. Salbar's referring to Frey, our father. Why, Salbar? He ordered you exiled when you attacked me. He went as mad as you when he finally discovered the slavers. He dared challenge them alone and has not been seen since. That was years ago. Let him go, Salbar. I rule. Really, I'll take the Wookiees forward, but there are prices to pay. Fucking! Do not give me that first line! What the fuck? fuck no no don't listen it's not worth it no more words outsider i've given my orders i can't hold you here but zalbar will stay until you kill the mad claw in the shadowlands don't worry buddy we'll get you out of here you can count on us the guards will let you pass now leave the village through the northwest and follow the platform to the south and then east you'll eventually see where gorwukin wait waits for you gorwukin He'll lower you to the forest floor. Go. That's a hell of a name, Gore Wookin. <clears throat> My throat doesn't want to cooperate with some of the names. Well, this... This is an interesting turn of events. I won't speak with you, outsider. Chundar allows too many of you here. So there is some, there is some questions of, uh, why. Chun Chundar has grown comfortable dealing with you outsiders. I have not. Hmm. Leave me, human outsider. I do not wish to speak with you. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Why? So you can better exploit us? Why should I speak with you? Uh, uh... I'm a friend. I travel with a Wookiee. You have a Wookiee marked by exile as a slave. If he's your property, he is no Wookiee. Not until he kills you. I will speak with you a moment, but do not pretend to be a friend. I trust only the word of Chundar. I, he's... He's not a slave. He's, he's... He's a friend. What... What do I have to do to convince people? Like, fuck! Why do your leaders allow slavers to take your people? What right do you have to question Tundar? What could you possibly know about us? Tell me so I might understand. Your interest is surprising. I have not thought an outsider would care. Still, I shouldn't talk of our troubles. Tundar is our leader and deserving of respect, even with our doubts. Huh. Who would you rather have as leader? There is no one left that will that is willing to stand up to the slavers. We wait for the coming of Bacchus heir. What do you mean by that? Uh oh. Uh dude the that was a comment. Sorry, give me a second. I thought I had muted it before I started recording. I guess I didn't. Oopsie doopsie. 
No, I'm not even sure if you can mute it right. Okay. There it goes. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There is no one left that is willing to stand up to the slavers. We will wait for the coming of Baca's heir. What do you mean by that? Explain. The ancient Baca was our greatest leader. At his death, he swore that his spirit would live in our true chieftains. Would live on in our true chieftains. I assume that's what was supposed to be said when I read it. His sword would be the sign, and legends say we have always prospered under those that held it. No longer. No one has seen the blade for years. It is a foolish hope. We now follow Chundar. He is sane and honorable. And that's it? That's the only reason you follow. Because he's sane and honorable. Even though only one of those is true. Ish. Okay. Um, you want to tell me your doubts about Chunda. I should tell someone. We whisper it anyway. Everyone wonders about it. Chundar has done much. He keeps the slavers from the village and rules fairly. He keeps order and keeps us strong. But his father was better. Freyr the chieftain would not have allowed the slaver docking platforms to be built. That's why he was killed. When did he die? Soon after the mad son Zalbar was sent away, Freyr seemed to succumb to the same kind of insanity. It is thought that he died fighting slavers. I'd like to think so. Chundar has bravely risen to lead us, despite his troubles. What if I told you Chundar is in league with the slavers? I would not believe you. You are an outsider. You lie. You cheat. You enslave us. There is nothing you could say to make me believe. I don't do most of those. I am an outsider. <laughs> I give you that much. Like, three-fourths of what you said I do, I don't do. And not am. So, I mean... Please stop. <laughs> but, that said, I understand. Just based on the first one, that would be enough. So, there. I want to go back to my previous questions. Be brief. I tire of this. Uh, any recent trouble other than the slavers? Another of our people is missing. If the slavers were responsible, more would have disappeared. This was just one Wookiee. It may be that he died in the Shadowlands. If he did, there is honor in that, and he will be mourned. Who would know more? What makes it your business? I have nothing more to say. Speak with his friends if you must. Warwill and Jarak maintain a vigil in Warwill's home on the central platform of the village. Okay. Goodbye. Please, do not bother me again. Alright. Well, that, uh, that was a thing. I did that without thinking. But no one's getting angry at me, so I think it's okay. Woo, boy. It would have been far worse if they were getting mad. Hmm. Because all of them would have killed me dead. At this point, it's just useful supplies. So, uh, I'm gonna do that. Home of War Will. Oh, hey! This was mentioned. This guy was mentioned. Rather. Jarak and Warwell. Okay. I've, I've never spoken to an outsider. I mean, Shundar makes us learn to understand you, but I've never been this close to one of you. What are you doing here? If you come to laugh at us, come to gloat about how many of us you take, can you even understand me? I'm Farron Khan. I'm here with Shundar's permission. I don't know about that. I hear lots of things, and I'm not sure what to think anymore. Can I ask you some questions? Oh, please don't. I haven't been paying attention to anything since Roar Roar, since Roar Roar went missing. You know anything about that? I hope not. I hope you slavers didn't get him. Not that you're a slaver. I'm sorry. I'm very tired. I haven't slept much lately. Fair enough. Uh, where did they go? 
When did they go, rather? Stop bothering the boy outsider. He doesn't need you taunting him. But what if they know something? Maybe they could help. An outsider? Help? Look around you, Warwell. Outsiders do nothing but steal and lie and taint the best among us. Outsider, you talk to me if you must bother us at all. Leave him alone. Who was he? Roar? <laughs> That's a hell of a name. Oh, he's the greatest. He led hunt he's led hunting parties to the Shadowlands and even fought outsiders, slavers, like you probably are. He taught me a lot. He said I could grow up as strong as him, that I'd fight you too. I will too. I will. Could we could we stop with calling me a slaver every five minutes, please? Could we could we stop on that? The white guilt is bad enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Alright. <laughs> Goodbye, I guess. Alright, well, I'll talk to Jarek now. <laughs> what is it you want, outsider? You are not welcome here, no matter what anyone says. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about Kashik. I have nothing to say to you. Go and learn what you can while bleeding our planet of its people in honor. Should we ask if it's seen Roarer? They understand us. Most... Outsiders don't bother to learn our language. Oh, okay. That was the other guy. It isn't an easy language to learn. What with all the growls and howls, Big Z told me the whole point was to make it difficult for outsiders to understand. Oh. I will not speak to them, and neither will you, Orwell. I won't allow it. I don't need to ask him. Fucking show a little respect. I don't. Good riddance. Don't come back, outsider. All right. Well, so much for that. Will they get mad if I do this? Nope. Okay. Also had some decent stuff in there. Alright. Away I go! Alrighty. Well, there's that. I have no idea where I am right now. Chindar has grown comfortable dealing with you outsiders. I have not. Yeah. Holder of the laws, huh? That's a hell of a name. <laughs> there is no way I'd be able to pronounce that. Warosnor. I feel like I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. I probably am. Say holder of the laws, how about that? Hello, outsider. I heard of your arrival. I trust you won't cause trouble in our village. We don't want bloodshed. Can I ask you some questions? I'm sorry. Like most of the village, I've been preoccupied by these troubled times. I don't really want to speak with you. Well, not unless you can tell me where young War Roar is. Roar War. <laughs> Do you keep track of slaves taken? I am no slaver. I have no way of knowing one way or another. You'll excuse me if I don't take you at your word. That's fair. That's fair. When did he go missing? It could be ten days or more. He was planning a hunt and nobody seems to know when he was leaving. He is now overdue. I don't know where to start. It is strange. Why do you think it's strange? I don't believe he was taken by slavers. Their slave transports haven't been seen around here. If it wasn't slavers, perhaps he fell in the Shadowlands. But he knew them well. I would search for him, but I don't know where to start. My days of hunting in the lower forest are behind me. I could look for him. You could. I've never had an offer of help from an outsider. I'll reserve my judgment for when I see results. Would there be a... Re no, no, I'm not going to ask that. Farewell, then. Baka, keep you well. Sounds like I'm saying stupid <laughs> in Japanese. Baka. Uh, aho, baka. Okay, I have to stop. I'm going to stop. Uh, is there further? Nope. Okay. Well, we're now at the village. We've explored a little bit. And now we have a task set before us. Find whoever is causing disturbances to the new chief den. Air quote. And uh, deal with it. 
however it takes to do so. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, other than that, uh, oh, this was the Chieftain's Hall. Just open the door. Oh, fuck. Be thankful for your time in our world and do as you have been. Bid. Okay. All right, I'll be going. Turn when the task is complete. Gotcha. All right, well, I can't open the door just to make it easier for me. All right. So, there's that. There's also a missing Wookiee, who I guess we, we can also deal with at the same time, because he's down in the Shadowlands. Um, other than that, that seems to be the gist of what we can do. So, uh... I guess all we can do is go down to the Shadowlands. But uh, for now, gotta end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube and Raj Kamal on Patreon for supporting my Patreon and thus supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and... Now visiting the village, we find out that there is a lot of shit going on. Uh, the new chieftain is Albar's brother. Uh, the new chieftain is actually doing essentially the selling of Wookiees to Zerka, which makes me hate him. And eventually we will fight him. But for now, we have to do his bidding. Possibly find allies to help in taking out this self-serving motherfucker for you.